I've been using this AI tool to write all my LinkedIn posts for me. I typically create video content for Instagram and TikTok. I've got 270,000 followers over there, but I hate written content, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, or my newsletter. I've been using this for all three, but I wanna walk you specifically through the LinkedIn use case and how it is so good. It's way better than ChatGPT or Claude or anything I've used. This is not a paid promotion or anything like that. Just wanted to walk you guys through this because if you're a video creator like me who hates written content, this is going to be an absolute lifesaver for you. Okay, and just to show you on the screen here, you see that I've gotten over 4,000 percent more impressions since I started using this. Got a lot of more profile views, engagement, and followers. I pretty much was doing nothing on LinkedIn before this. And you can see here that I've got some ones scheduled already for the future. So I've got some different ones scheduled with the style of posts that I'm going to be doing here. This is how I'm going to be able to post every single day on LinkedIn. And I'm also using this to write 90 tweets this month over on Twitter, plus two to three emails every single week. So uh, this is just a LinkedIn breakdown because I think this is so powerful for LinkedIn. And obviously people on LinkedIn are business people. They have more money than people that are, you know, just on Instagram or Twitter in general. So a lot of people aren't leveraging it. And some people are starting to come over that are really smart, like Laura or Dakota or Ben Kaluza or me. If you're able to get there early, then you can make a lot of money and really capitalize off this. And it's something I've avoided because I'm a video content creator. I hate doing written content, but now that I'm using Poppy, it's made it so much easier for me. And you can go here, you can have multiple boards. You can see I have email, Twitter, YouTube to short form, but I'm going to walk you through LinkedIn specifically here. So here is what this looks like for me in this one specifically. You can add voice notes in here if you want to give it instructions like that. You can do a mind map. You can do images so it can read what is actually on the images. And you can see here if I go to my Twitter board, which is by far my most hectic, there's a million different things in here. So I use pretty much everything except the mind map. So you can see I've got images for different tweets I like. I've got different PDFs. I've got voice notes. And then I've also even got uh, YouTube videos that, you know, I want to either make content about or, you know, this one, for example, is really good for copywriting. And I basically am using that to train this chat on copywriting tactics. So for LinkedIn here, I've got a little bit more simple. It's really only these three and then these four I uploaded for individual things that I'm using. So like I said, I make a lot of video content. So all I'm doing with these four is uploading the transcript of the video. And then I'm saying, hey, go ahead and make a LinkedIn post in this style of template. So what I actually did is I've got right here, uh, if I can scroll in right there, you can see I've got my context. So this is just a file that talks about me, my accomplishments, personal things about me, the reason I stand out and the things that I've done, you know, talking about my students and different things like that, plus the target audience and the people that I'm trying to talk to. So Poppy knows exactly who I'm trying to talk to. Then I've got my LinkedIn templates document. So I actually bought a course from Laura Costa, which if you guys don't know who that is, I'm gonna pull her up right here real quick. You can see she's got 189,000 followers on LinkedIn. She is the LinkedIn queen. Hi, Laura, if you're watching this, love all your stuff. The course has been super helpful, but in there she's got 62 LinkedIn templates that she put together for winning like style of templates. So you can do this, you know, if you're doing tweets or LinkedIn posts, if you don't want to buy a course, you can find people's posts that have done really well. Maybe you want to emulate them and you can now put that into a PDF similar to like I've got. You don't have to have 62 different templates. You could have 10 or 15 that you typically use. Put them into this and then you can go and say, hey, Poppy AI, can you actually write a post for me based off my context and based off whatever you want to talk about and actually write it in this template style. Like I mentioned, you can add obviously the mind map, you can do recordings, you can do images, you can link YouTube videos, and then it'll go through the entire transcript of those. You can have text, which I've got here, which is basically just a long prompt that's going to give it each time. So it knows and it's always working off this. And then the chat is what you've see, you're seeing here, right? So you can do individual chats as well if you want to do, you know, hey, I don't want this chat to, you know, take all the context I've got here. I only want it to take, you know, my context and then one individual thing. Okay, great. And you can now go ahead and just only link those to here. And all you have to do is that to do it, right? I'm not gonna do that right now, but I just want to show you that that's possible. And the chat is what you're really mainly working out of here. Again, you can use websites and then documents, which I'm clearly using with all these different PDFs here. So you can see with this individual chat that I've got going on, I've got about four different LinkedIn posts here that I wrote. So you can see here, I just said, hey, I just uploaded a writing captions doc. Do you see that? It's a video transcript. He says, yes, I see it. Okay, sweet. Great, can you write a LinkedIn post in the quick tip format? And that's one of the formats that Laura has and they go ahead and boom, now they write it in the quick tip. Now, the only one complaint I have up to this point with Poppy is for whatever reason, the 
uh, when they do little dashes or, you know, bullet points, it doesn't format it properly. So I simply, you know, here, number one, I say, hey, I actually want to use this different template. It says, great, it goes ahead and it does that there for me. So I don't even need to change it there. So if you just say, you know, hey, reformat the bullet points so they're on their own each individual line, then it will do it and boom, you can see it's doing that right here. But you can see that this is actually a really good post. So it says harsh content truth and I'll zoom in here for you. Harsh content truth. Creating content is only half the job done on social media. You need to show up consistently. You need to put in the reps even when no one's watching. You need to keep going when you're getting six likes per video. You need to persist for years, not just weeks or months. Stop thinking you need to be one of the smartest or have the best equipment. Start focusing on consistency and volume. I posted over 1,500 videos in the last three years, even when those first 100 videos barely got any engagement. That's how you beat 99% of people who start creating content. It's not about being the best. It's about outlasting the rest. These last uh, three parts right here, it actually didn't even take from the template. It just added that because it had context from the actual post itself. So you can decide to keep that if you want, or you can remove it from the template. The only thing I ended up changing about this post was I copy and pasted the entire thing. And I just turned this section right here into two separate sentences, just so it would look a little cleaner. And then I just deleted this last thing. It's a little rhymey. I didn't like that. But otherwise, I used this 100% without having to make any new content or go through it and everything, right? Because all I did was upload my video transcript, and then it created this from that. And that video Video transcripts, by the way, was like 13 seconds long. It was basically just a video of me saying, I might not be the smartest creator or have the most followers, but I simply will outlast people because I'm willing to put in the reps every single day. That was pretty much the video. And then it created this from that for me. So I didn't have to use any extra brain power to do it. So I'm going to start a brand new chat and ask it to write about the new Instagram features. And I uploaded that PDF right here. Um, so it has that information now. I'm just going to simply paste in here and say, please write a LinkedIn post about the two new features that just dropped and the change in your niche format. Please remember to format any bullet points on their own line. We're going to go boom. And then we're going to see what it gives us. So there's a brand new chat. Instagram has changed a lot. Read this if you're struggling to grow on IG. My engagement has dropped by 15% and my reach has also decreased by 20%. If you're experiencing the same, here's one simple way to boost your engagement. So we're, I'm going to zoom in here. It says focus on leveraging these two new IG features, story comments and broadcast channel public replies. Use story comments to gather visible feedback, encourage followers to leave public comments on stories, utilize broadcast channel replies for deeper connections, allow public replies in your broadcast channels, experiment with polls and questions in your broadcast channels, engage with followers, public replies, use these features to increase visibility and interaction and monitor how these new features impact your engagement. Don't just post and hope, build a community instead. Engage with your followers every single day, outlast your competition this way. Really, really good and you know, in depth for me giving it just a, you know, a script that was about 30 seconds. This is something that I'm quite literally, I mean, you're gonna, if you guys follow me on LinkedIn, you're going to see this post. Boom, I'm gonna go over. I've already got on my LinkedIn, I already have the post in there, but I haven't actually gone ahead and so Instagram features, going to go edit post. And then we're just going to go boom, got it here, make sure everything looks good. Boom. Okay. So if you are following me on LinkedIn, you're going to see that post this upcoming week. Like I said, this is just one of the examples and there's 62 different templates and so I can choose from them each time. And the great thing is, so let's say I don't want, you know, this to feed off any of this information moving forward. I can either, like I said earlier, you know, add my own chat and then just, you know, continue to do this. I can simply hold down shift, drag over all of these and then just press delete and boom, we're good to go. We're back to just simply having the document my context, and then a little prompt about it, right? So there is an affiliate link down in the description. You will get money off if you use that. Genuinely just love this tool. And I think this could be super helpful to other creators. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And if you want more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so more people can see this and get the message out.